everyone, it's Christy and today I'm going to be doing a haul. Um, it's a collective haul, I've been shopping all over the place lately and so I wanted to show you what I've bought. Um, it's a combination of stores, um, like shopfront stores and also online stores and I'm going to start with an online store. I'm going to start with ModCloth. Uh, a little while ago I went online to ModCloth and I saw heaps of awesome things and I bought this amazing umbrella. All you cat lovers out there are going to die, so just make sure you're sitting down before I show you what this is. Because this is the most, most amazing umbrella ever. Oh my goodness, it's got cats everywhere, they're all staring at you. Ha ha ha. How cool is this, right? I love it. So, I hope you can see it. It's black, and it's got lots of, um, I guess, what kind of cats are they? They're, um, like a British short hair, like a blue... Pretty short hair, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what the umbrella looks like. I am over the moon about this purchase. I absolutely love it and I feel awesome when I go out and I have this umbrella um, with me. So, yeah, and I think it was about $30 or $35. It wasn't overly expensive. Um, it wasn't cheap either, but, you know, and it, it seems well made. It's got like a nice wooden handle. And like a gold cap thing at the end here. So that was good. And then also from Mod Cloth, I picked up this book. It is the Bathroom Guest Book. It's a bit random, but I think I saw it on someone's blog and I thought that was really funny. And so I looked it up and I bought it. I don't think it was all that much either. I think it may have been like $10 or $12 or maybe $20. I don't know. It wouldn't be more than $20, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. And so what it is is exactly what the title suggests. It's a guest book that you sign into when you go and use someone's bathroom. And I'll come up and show you really close so you can see what it's got on it. So it's got things like the date of the visit to the bathroom and you have to like pick a song that goes with what you felt this bathroom experience was like. And you get to doodle a little bit here and you purpose of your visit and you can just sign in and if you looked in the medicine cabinet you can tick whether you've done that on it or you didn't. And then you give the person's bathroom like a report card on all these things here and some other bits and pieces. So I thought it was really cute. Um, it's quirky and we're quirky so it totally fits in with us. So we'll pull it out next time we've got friends, whoops, friends over and see if anyone signs into our guest book. So the next things I'm going to show you are bought from Woolworths. Uh, we do our grocery shopping at Woolworths and so... I do end up buying random bits and pieces from Woolworths when I'm doing my groceries and this is what I bought. I was in the need for a gym bag. Not that I go to the gym but I go to our local pool and I do go to boot camp and I don't know, I just need a bag to carry out all my stuff like fitness wise. So I found this bag. It's very much like the country road bags that were originally this style and then everyone sort of made versions of them. So it's pink. And it's got the grey strap and features and it comes with the long strap as well. This was only $12. So I thought instead of buying myself a country road one and spending, I don't know, $70 or $80, I'll just spend $12. And I was also in the need of some new sports shoes and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So again, I went to Woolies and I found these. And they were $12 also. So even if they last me, I don't know, a couple of months or whatever, I don't really care. Because they look fun and... They were $12. They match my bag. So that was my Woolies purchases. I'd been on the hunt for a nice pair of gum boots. I really, really love the Hunter ones, but they're just so expensive and I would never, ever buy them. So when I came across these, I obviously had to buy them. These are from eBay um, and they are like amazing. They came from Sydney. So they're um, someone from Manly, if you're familiar with Sydney area. Someone from Manly stocks these. They're not any brand in particular, they're just a generic rain boot and they've got the buckle there and they're really strong and sturdy and I love them to death and I wore these for the first time yesterday on Easter when I went to my father-in-law's farm and they were perfect and I loved them and I just feel like instead of wearing like ugly boots or I don't know, wrecking your nice boots, you can wear these boots which are nice and fashionable. And these were, I think, $45. And I can't remember if that's including shipping or not, but I think the shipping was only 6 or $7 anyway, because I also live in Sydney, so it wasn't that much. And, yeah, they're really cheap, and I love them. 
Now the next thing I'm going to show you is this dress. However, I don't remember the store I bought it from. It was like this store, it's like some of the stuff second hand and then some of the stuff is seconds. And so this was, this, she told me that it was a second, so it wasn't a second hand item. Um, which is why I put it in this haul and not in my thrift haul. I paid $25 for it and it's like this magenta lace dress. So it's lined... Um, everywhere except for the sleeves. The sleeves are like the see-through lace and it's like a thick wintry lace and it's like a skater style. It cinches in at the waist and then it sort of flares out. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say about that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful colour and I just look forward to wearing it lots and lots in winter. Another thing I bought online was this black cape. I've been having a big need at the moment to buy capes. So I've already got a red one. I've already shown you this grey one that I bought with my last haul with the furry hood. And so I thought, well, obviously I need a black one. So I found this on eBay. I think, oh my god, it was so cheap. I think it was like like $25 or something ridiculous like that. And it came from the UK and it included shipping. And it's heavy. So I don't know. I don't know. Work that out. I don't know. Anyway, it's black. And it's got these things, oh, I don't know what these are called, but these things down the front. And it's got, does it have holes for your arm? I can't even remember. Yeah, it does have holes so your, so your arms will come out. And then you can put your hands in your pockets that are at the front. And it also has a hood. I'm sorry, this, I can't show you this. This is ridiculous. Then I bought some eyeliner. The gel eyeliner, I picked some up from, where was I, Kmart, of course, and it came with this brush, and it's by Maybelline, yeah, so this is what it looks like, I actually haven't used eyeliner like this before, but I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do it, and it just seems flawless, so I really wanted to have a go, it was $15, um, and that's all about that. Then I went to Dottie. Dodi was having this sale um, when I went in there, but I didn't find anything on sale. Oh, hang on. Yes, I did. The first... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You guys know how much I love cats. And if you don't, I love cats. I love, love, love cats. And so whenever I see something with a cat on it, I automatically think that I must buy it, even though it might be really ugly and shit. So, anyway. I saw this jumper at Dodi, and it has cats on it. So it's like this metallic thread... Um, pinky purpley background. I don't know if it's going to come up very well. And then it's got all different silhouettes of cats sitting or walking or standing and licking their hand. And, oh, it's so much fun. Um, this wasn't on sale. It was $59.95, which I was happy to pay. It's a fairly thin knit, so I wouldn't really wear it in the middle of winter, but maybe leading up to, like in autumn or whatever. Um, so that's what it looks like there. It's just a relaxed fit round neck. And when I went to try it on, I thought, oh, I should take some pants or something with it so I could see what it looks like all together. So I tried on these black leather look leggings on. Um, they've got elastic waist. And they're really, really stretchy. I do have another pair that I bought previously from Boohoo, which I absolutely love. So when I just saw these, they were only $15 and I wanted to try them on with the jumper. And they looked great with them, so I bought them as well. The last thing I'm going to show you is a pair of leggings I bought at JJ's. So Scott was looking for some shirts, just casual t-shirts for himself, and I thought I'd have a bit of a sticky beak and see what I can pick up for myself. And I found these velvet leggings, and I just think velvet is awesome, and velvet leggings are even better. I can just imagine wearing these with like an oversized knitted jumper or like a short style dress with like velour leggings underneath, or velvet, sorry, not velour. Um, yeah, and they were like, they're full length, and they're very comfortable and stretchy, and they were only $20. So, yeah, if you want a pair of velvet leggings, you should go check them out. They've got heaps of other leggings there at the moment. They had like patterned ones as well, and they were all 10 or $20. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought of my purchases, and I will see you again shortly. Bye!